Losing Pam was like losing the farm all over. We walked down the hall of the hospital to her radiation appointment when she sat to rest. She put her head in her hands. When she finally looked up, a snarl of hair came free in her fingers. She tossed it on the cold white floor and said, I won't need that anymore. A tangle, a scribble discarded. I am too young to be in school and I am alone. Beyond the orchard, past the corn crib, fields stretch before me. The snow is past my knees and I am struggling to walk. I don't have gloves, and when I fall I am shocked by how much the snow hurts my hands. I am lucky to be here. Our farm was chaotic, isolated. It was a place with little justice for a child, especially a female child. It was a place where I struggled to be safe. And yet, my childhood was a privileged experience. I witnessed the processes of birth, life, death, decay, learned to see beauty and look closely, learned to cook, sew, drive a tractor, weld, trap and skin animals, basic mechanics. I could fix anything with a piece of number nine wire. I learned to occupy time. Our house was a contradiction, filthy in ways hard to describe, yet we lived with paintings from the 1800s, ivories, beautiful china, an amazing library with volumes on science, literature, art history. My earliest memory is of scribbling, the beauty of making marks. It is early morning. I am alone, filling space with complex lines and shapes, layering. I've discovered a key to my life. I find my mother and ask for more paper. She refused, dismissing my activity as just scribbling. She didn't see the value and meaning in the work, but it didn't deter me. It was art that saved me. One of the last things Pam did was to see the Vermeer exhibition. I think of her, riddled with cancer, in front of those paintings. The light reflected off their surfaces, traveling through the lenses of her eyes, hitting her retinas, traveling the optic nerves to her brain. I still notice beauty in small things. Painting allows me to see one thing or a part of one thing clearly every day. It helps me accept what is. It helps me learn to be as kind to myself as I expect myself to be to others. And so I think of the construction of a nest, small components woven together with skill, a painting the accumulation of small strokes, the way a nest home, nurture, a womb, fertile or never to be fertile again, progeny departed, a place to fledge from. The way a nest is a scribble, an elegant scribble to which I return. <laughs>